Autism will start usually long before the age of three when it's diagnosed. We don't know why there's social delay in autism. We do know that if there's any barrier to touch in the first three years of life, there's going to be social delay. Because touch is where social development begins. And in autism, there is a barrier to touch. Children refuse touch on different parts of their body. They struggle with it. And parents try to cope with that. It's not the parent's fault that the child refuses touch, although the parents often think that. It's actually a problem with the child's sense of touch. What should feel good to the skin doesn't feel good. A kiss on the face is a little bit uncomfortable, causes a rejection response. What should hurt doesn't hurt. Sensory nerves in the skin are affected and there's a problem with the sense of touch. The organ of touch, the symbol is the hand. It isn't the hand, it's the entire skin. And the skin covers the body. It has millions and billions of tiny little sensory nerves in it. It is the way that the brain and the body get to know each other. When the baby isn't touched, those connections between the skin and the brain are dormant. But when the mother touches the baby, it sends that message up this is my face. It sends that message up, oh, this is my mouth I'm going to nurse. It sends up that message, this is my hand. And within a few days of life, the baby, while feeding, seeks the parent's face and seeks eye contact. This is the first social interaction. The baby's life is going between little upsets and periods of calm and then little upsets and periods of calm. And each time that they have an upset, it's parent touch that brings the baby back to calm. This is a graph of parenting stress for typical children and parenting stress for children with autism. And what the research shows is that it's four times higher in autism than it is for typical children. There is something that parents can do for the problems with touch, and it's called Qigong massage. Blanket to me. That might not be a familiar word to a lot of parents, but it's a familiar practice. It's been used in the East for thousands of years. I've taught this to hundreds of parents, and it works. It seems simple. It's a 15-minute daily massage, but at first it can be difficult because the child will resist touch. We have techniques for each of the areas of the body to help work the child through those difficulties. And so if parents have support, they can stop avoiding those areas that are uncomfortable and they can actually work the problems through. Massage is the strongest, most organizing medicine that we have. Yeah. Massage can turn things around. After about five months, the parents can get the autism about 30% less severe. That means that the severe child moves onto the moderate, the moderate child moves onto the mild end of the spectrum and the mildly affected child can move off. The stress level of the parent goes down. The connection between the parent and the child is there again. 
those emotions of love and trust and belonging can flow again, everybody feels better. Thank you.